As the former general secretary of the FDP party, Dirk Nebel used to be a scathing critic of German development aid. Now, as the new Minister for Economic Cooperation and Development, he is suddenly faced with fighting poverty and defending human rights and social justice the world over. It's an enormously complex topic. Almost all areas of life play a role, and we have strong interests in a good form of developmental cooperation that will ideally render itself obsolete. In this development project in Burkina Faso, women are involved in trash separation and recycling, a classic small-scale project designed to boost self-help. Maybe too small for the new minister. He thinks development aid should also help the German economy, in particular mid-sized businesses. I have no reservations about German business. We should make use of as much private capital as possible for development projects. And it isn't wrong if some of the German tax revenue invested in development cooperation flows back into German products. Among opposition politicians, the warning lights are flashing. In the coalition agreement, Mr. Niebel is clearly pushing to open all markets all over the world. But that is alarming because two-thirds to three-quarters of the poorest people in rural areas live from agriculture. And if all the developing countries have to remove their protective tariffs all at once, they will lose their protective mechanisms and these markets will be flooded even more with European agricultural products, which in part are highly subsidized. That would wipe out all the successes we've achieved in recent Years. Heads of state and government from Pacific Island nations paid a visit to Guido Westerwelle, the head of the FDP and the new German foreign minister. Westerwelle has been Dirk Niebel's mentor and patron. Critics fear developmental policy will now be made in the foreign ministry, and Westerwelle is doing nothing to contradict that. For us, it's important that the development ministry doesn't carry out its own foreign policy anymore, but that everything is synchronized. Westervelle and Niebel promise to keep development policy running smoothly. The foreign minister and I agree on how we want to shape our cooperation. After many years of cooperation that has been rich in conflict, certain gaps have to be closed again. But once the two ministries have understood what the leaders want, it will be an outstanding constellation. Plans include an increased commitment for Afghanistan. Nebel's first focus is on increasing aid for civil projects in the Kunduz region, where German soldiers are stationed. Nebel, who for many years was a member of Germany's armed forces, has no fear of cooperation. I'm not worried at all, including in the regions of Afghanistan where our forces are ensuring security, about contributing to giving people there a peace dividend, and that precisely where Germany is responsible for security, people really notice it is beneficial to their living conditions. Niebel wants to make German development cooperation more effective. In a year at the latest, he wants to unite various organizations in a single federal development agency. The idea has been around for a long time, but now it will be realized. And there will also be more money, 300 million euros. He says he has already spoken with the finance minister. We will have more money and the increased personnel that we need. In the current economic and financial crisis, we can't ask for more. But the goal must be clear. The increase must continue so that we can achieve the goal in the coalition contract of putting 0.7% of GDP into development aid by 2015. So the ambitious goals will remain under a new minister and he too will be measured against them.